In today's video, I want to talk about the different ways mariners can detect ice at sea, uh, which will help them to navigate in these regions. So, some of the signs uh, of uh, ice being there will also be discussed. So, when ice is reported near the ship's course, the master of every ship is required to proceed at a moderate speed or to alter the course so as to be well clear of the danger zone. Uh, how can you then use the ways available to you to detect ice? Firstly, visually. In spite of vast advances in science and technology, navigation of ship in ice is done mainly by eye alone. And there is no instrument which can give complete information about ice on the track accurately. Of course, then we also have the radar or the RPAS. Uh, they are valuable in determining the ice, but it should be borne in mind that smooth sea ice like smooth water will return little or no echo on the radar screen. Whereas small flows of rough sea ice can be detected in smooth seas at a range of about 2 to 3 miles only. By then the vessel may have come very close to the ice. A lead in the smooth ice is clearly visible on the radar. The range at which ice can be detected will depend on the height of the ice above sea level as well as the slope of the ice. In short, we can say that radar may not detect small icebergs and growlers even though they are a danger to navigation. Ice blink provides a whitish glare in the sky on the horizon in the direction of ice due to intense regulation of sunlight. It can also be seen at night in the moonlight. So this is one sign that the mariner can use to suspect the presence of the ice. If the mariner observes any abrupt smoothening of seas and swell, that may also indicate presence of ice to the windward. Sometimes watching birds and seals which are sighted far from land are also an indication. A sudden wall of fog may also be expected on the edge of an ice field. Breaking seas against the edge of the ice as well as sea smoke which appears as if the sea is smoking are also some of the other indicators of ice being in the vicinity. So I hope if you are sailing on ships which are going into regions of uh, where ice is prevalent you will use some of these measures along with of course the weather reports and weather facts emails and information provided by the ice patrol together to keep a lookout for ice in your or close to your intended track to keep your ship safe from entering dangerous pack ice which may damage your ship's hull, rudder or propeller. Thanks guys and bye.